Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Ibera and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV. With over 20 locations in Vancouver, as well as other shops in the province and overseas, Blends continues to be BC's largest coffee shop franchise. Today we're going to learn about the history behind the brand and what better place to do that than here at the Vancouver Public Library. We'll also find out how they've managed to survive nearly two decades in a city where options for your next caffeine jolt are endless. <laughs> So Mark, Blend started in the early 90s, I know, here in Vancouver, actually just a few blocks away from where I live at Robson & Butte. Can you tell me the story of um, the initial startup of Blend's? Yeah, it started in February 1992 at the corner of Robson and & Butte. And uh, there's three founders, Jeff Hare, Sarah Moen, Brian Noble. And uh, Jeffrey had worked in the coffee business in Ontario, moved to Vancouver, and noticed that there was a real opportunity for another uh, specialty coffee concept at the time got together with Sarah, then they met Brian, and uh, got the first location uh, at Robson and & Butte. And the real, you know, the real reason behind that location was that they were looking for something that was uh, high profile, um, really wanted to make a, an impact in the marketplace. So Robson Street being the busiest retail street uh, west of Toronto, opened up the first location and grew, grew from there. And speaking of rivalry, I know in Vancouver we're huge coffee drinkers, obviously, of Starbucks, Cafe Artigiano, every corner you go to. How do you continue to pull people in and have them um, keep chopping at blends? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, really, it's three factors. One is our product, our people, and our locations. So with our product, for example, we use real Belgian chocolate in all our chocolate-based drinks. So there's no syrups, no powders, no artificial ingredients. We use competition blend uh, espresso. One of our staff members is the latte art champion, international latte art champion, uh, and she's been training all our baristas on award-winning lattes for a long time. Our people, we have great franchisees throughout the system. Uh, they're enthusiastic, they work hard, and the baristas are real baristas, uh, no automatic machines, everything is as a traditional Italian barista should be. And then our locations, we you know, we work really hard to pick high profile corner locations that have lots of people walking by. They're in places, you know, like this where where it's very convenient for people's first visit. Uh, they come in, they have a great experience with a great product, and that gets them to come back over and over again. Now you're gonna show us a proper pour of a cafe latte here that Blend is known for. What's the process in doing this? Uh, this is free pour. Uh, I steamed super silky steamed milk and got a perfect shot of espresso. And the end result is this rosetta or flower-like latte art. And how long would that take for someone like me to perfect who's never done barista training before? Oh my goodness, I've trained hundreds of blends baristas to be baristas and to do latte art. And it takes people sometimes a whole day, one hour, a couple of weeks. And is it those little touches you think that keeps people coming back to blends? Just the little, you know, things that make you unique versus your competitors? I think so, but also in Vancouver, it's almost become like an industry standard. So in blends, what we do is uh, to keep everyone's skill level up is we offer latte art workshops. That's open to every blends barista. They don't have to schedule themselves. It's a free service to our franchisees. Um, and they show up at our blends training kitchen and they learn latte art, they learn uh, different barista skills and techniques and communication skills. So it's a lot of fun. Most West Coasters would agree there's nothing better than that first sip of coffee. With ongoing attention to detail, as well as an inspiring startup story, there's no doubt Blends will continue to fuel our caffeine addiction for years to come. For more information on the franchise, just go to their website, www.blends.com. And remember, life is too short for bad coffee. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Vanessa Ibera.